the evolution and diversification of the more than 300,000 living species of flowering plants may have been jump-started much earlier than previously calculated. According to Claude de Pamphilus, a professor of biology at Penn State University and the lead author of the study, two major upheavals in the plant genome occurred hundreds of millions of years ago, nearly 200 million years earlier than the events that other research groups had described. De Pamphilus and his team began with some intense genomic detective work, combing through nine previously sequenced plant genomes, plus millions of new gene sequences that the Ancestral Angiosperm Genome Project had gathered from the earliest surviving lineages of flowering plants. The team knew that, at some point in ancient history, one or more important genetic metamorphoses had occurred in the ancestor of flowering plants, and that these metamorphoses could explain the enormous success of so many living flowering plant species. Most importantly, the team suspected that these changes had been driven by a common mechanism instead of by many independent events. After examining volumes of molecular evidence, de Pamphilus and his team discovered and calculated the dates for two instances of a special kind of DNA mutation, called a polyploidy event, that revolutionized the flowering plant lineage. A polyploidy event is when all of the DNA in the cell is duplicated. This duplication also duplicates all the genes in the cell, all the regulatory elements in the cell, everything in the genome. Biologists had dated the earliest polyploidy event in flowering plants at around 125 to 150 million years ago. However, de Pamphilus and his team found evidence of two much earlier events, one occurring in the ancestor of all seed plants about 320 million years ago, and another occurring in the flowering plant lineage specifically about 192 to 210 million years ago, up to 200 million years earlier than such events were assumed to have taken place. Such polyploidy events probably set in motion a kind of genomic renaissance. Thanks to these events, flowering plants have been able to evolve new and better functions and have become so diverse, so exquisite, and so prevalent. Without the genes that these polyploidy events help to create, flowering plants as we know them today probably would not exist. One of the long-standing topics of uh, investigation in plant biology is one that was raised originally by Charles Darwin, who pointed out that flowering plants increased in diversity very, very rapidly. He called it an abominable mystery why the flowering plants originated and then exploded in diversity so quickly. De Pamphilus believes that the polyploidy events his team discovered may be an important part of that abominable mystery, and that all species of flowering plants today are the result of large-scale duplications of the ancient genome. Two big bangs for flowering plants. For ScienceCast, I'm Katrina Voss.